In this video, we'll walk through the process of upgrading an on-prem orchestrator. We'll start by covering some important things to know before beginning the upgrade process. Look at how and where to download the software image. We'll examine the upgrade documentation. Take a brief look at disaster recovery mitigation. And finally, we'll demo the upgrade operation itself in full. An on-prem orchestrator is typically a virtual machine hosted within the corporate network. The process for Cloud Orchestrator, or Orchestrator as a Service, is different and we'll cover it in another video. Upgrading the orchestrator is not service impacting for the Edge Connect appliances, but you should be aware that while the orchestrator service is stopped, any automatic orchestration of tunnels will be postponed until the orchestrator service is back up and running. This could mean a tunnel using a DHCP1 interface, for example, could be down if that public IP happens to change during the orchestrator upgrade. ZTP and other appliance provisioning activities would also not be possible for the duration of the upgrade. And orchestrator users would not be able to use the web interface to perform administration, run reports, etc. For reasons like this, it is advisable to perform orchestrator upgrades during a maintenance window. The orchestrator can only be upgraded via the CLI using a script. The first step is to download the GIP file from the support portal and have it available on a server or host accessible from the orchestrator. We recommend you also download and read the release notes. There may be important information to be aware of prior to upgrade. Be ready to take a VM snapshot prior to upgrading. The upgrade script will prompt you when the time is right, or you can go ahead and take a snapshot before running the script. Whilst it is rare for an upgrade to fail, in the event that it does, a snapshot gives you a fast way to recover your orchestrator. Always delete your snapshot when you have completed your upgrade maintenance. Reverting to an old snapshot could cause tunnels to become unusable old configuration to be pushed out, and statistics history lost. A VM snapshot is a useful tool to quickly recover during upgrade, but it is not suitable for disaster recovery many hours, days, or weeks into the future. The orchestrator backup feature should be configured for ongoing backups to an external server. All the upgrade steps you need are available on the orchestrator web interface at orchestrator Upgrade Orchestrator. They are also present in the online Orchestrator user guide on our website, where you can find our full product documentation, including system requirements, deployment guides, and so on. Now we'll perform an upgrade using a local HTTP server. Start by opening an SSH session to the Orchestrator. Log in as admin. Type su root to become the root user. Enter the root password. Contact our technical assistance center if you do not know your root password. Type cd forward slash home. Enter or copy this command, replacing the bracketed section with the full path to the GIP file you downloaded earlier. Here we're using a local HTTP server with a copy of the GIP file downloaded from the support portal. After pressing enter on that command, the script will begin and guide you through the installation process. First, it will confirm that you have an orchestrator and stats collector backup before proceeding. You should have already configured the orchestrator backup to send regular backups to an external server. If you are happy that you have good backups, you can press Y to proceed. The first thing that happens is the CentOS operating system is checked for updates. These updates include things such as security updates for key operating system services. If your CentOS happens to be up to date, the script will move on to the next step. Otherwise, it will prompt you with a summary of how many packages should be upgraded. In our example, there are 40 to upgrade. You should say yes to these updates to keep your orchestrator secure. Press Y and then press enter to proceed. After the CentOS updates have completed, the script will prompt you to take a snapshot. 
If you haven't already, take the opportunity now to take a VM snapshot using your hypervisor management tool. Once you have the fresh snapshot, press N to not stop the installation and proceed with the orchestrator upgrade. Now the script will download the GIP file from the local HTTP server. Next, the orchestrator services are stopped and you'll see confirmation of the current version and version to install displayed. Don't worry about some of the failed words that appear here. They are normal during the upgrade process. The entire upgrade process can take as little as five minutes to several hours to complete, depending on the number of appliances and size of the database. The key message appears at the end in green. Installation completed successfully. At this point, the web user interface is available again and all orchestration activities will resume. You can log into the web interface and confirm on the top right that the new version is running. This concludes the orchestrator upgrade process. Thanks for watching. <music>